Rose Haven has been an inspiration for my life. You know, I was a lost soul and I found a place that made it, made me feel safe. Like I was welcomed. No matter what situation I was in at the time, it didn't matter. To the people that work here, they took me in like I was their own. Hi, my name is Katie O'Brien. I'm the executive director at Rose Haven. Rose Haven is a daytime shelter providing community, resources, and support to women, children, and gender diverse people experiencing homelessness, abuse, and poverty. I just think that if I share my story, if I could just change one person's life out of my story, I'd be happy. I've met some amazing women that were here for whatever reason, you know, and getting to see them every so often lets me know that they're doing okay. And some of them still come and they hang out. I come sometimes just to hang out. At Rose Haven, we break the cycle of homelessness by providing meals, clothing, first aid, mailing addresses, hygiene, restrooms, showers, as well as advocacy and guidance through medical and social services. She really has helped me in a lot of ways to show me that there is a better side and to be who, who I am is who I am. And you know, I've come a long way. I went from not having nothing to having my own place. As a day shelter, this means we bridge the gaps in services for people who are not lucky enough to get a shelter bed. And then, you know, as time passed, they got a bigger building, which I think is, is awesome. You know, able to help other women that were going through whatever they needed to go through. Now, I've been in my own place for the past two years. It gave me an internship for three years, which I'm really grateful for. That needs encouraging words or needs to listen to my story, um, it's here, it's available. We maintain over 500 active mailboxes for our guests. We help our guests register to vote and get their stimulus check. At every touch point, we are compassionately listening and supporting them. We provide compassionate advocacy and on-site social workers for guests throughout the most difficult times in their lives. When the pandemic hit, we had to adapt our services to provide the majority of them at the door. If you've ever been to Rose Haven, you'll know that social distancing isn't something we could easily do. It used to be like, usually you just come in, in, eat something to eat, and now you can't even do that because of the pandemic and, you know, it's sad. We went from being a place that provided resources from inside our community walls, full of volunteers, to executing our mission outside with our staff of 11 and a handful of core volunteers who did not shy away from all the unknowns that this pandemic has presented. It felt different this time because I was able just to come on in, but before, when I was you know, in the streets and came in, it's totally different because you don't get to mingle with other women like you used to. Since March 2020, we have had to scale back our programs to meet the survival needs of our most vulnerable guests. And from our front door, we are handing out needed supplies such as tents, sleeping bags, tarps, masks, hygiene kits, hand sanitizer, and emergency clothing items. And some of them still come and they hang out. I come sometimes just to hang out. You know, with this epidemic, it's kind of hard for us to hang out. We kept our indoor bathroom facilities open while using strict cleaning protocols and clean each shoes to protect the health of our guests and staff. Also, we are offering showers, a program that is much needed for our guests. Since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, we've been able to hold over 600 one-on-one -on -one advocacy meetings with during this incredibly challenging and difficult time. Rose Haven was able to you know, show me different opportunities on how to get help with my addiction, how to support other people that come through those doors as an equal. I wanted to share my story with others because I know where I've been and where I come from it's possible to get through it and not to give up on life because there is a brighter side out there. Well, as I got clean, I was able to give back to Rose Haven by volunteering. 
show them that they can get through it and where I've been and where I've come from, where I'm at now. It is, it is possible to have a better you and not be in the streets and be homeless away from people, you know. It's, it feels good though to come in here and be able to say like, look, oh, that was me two years ago. If I can do it, they can do it too, you know. So it's a big, it's a big change. It was different for sure.